me at least on Saturday night. I thought you might take the football if we won the toss. You won the toss. You elected to defer, and that proved to be a pretty good decision. It was a good decision, and we just need to play better when we give up the football early. So, you know, we want to get our defense out there and see what we can do. Aaron here kicking off. Gamecocks will bring it back up, and Ingram, one of the upbacks, brings it up. And, of course, your defense gets right after the Gamecocks, right out of the shoot. And I need to mention that Aaron here, I thought, did a tremendous job filling in for uh, Stephen Grantham. Bulldogs come up with a huge sack. Keon Brooks and James Simmons. Matt. Yeah, that's James Simmons that makes that play. And, and uh, you know, James played pretty good all day long. He had some, some injury problems there for a little while. We got hurt. But then that's Keon Brooks making the play on the end around. And, and you see Tony White rush the pass, and then Marquis Hamlin intercepts the ball here. And we, I almost thought he was going to get all the way in here, but he didn't quite. And, of course, this is our first offensive series down deep in their territory. That really got the attention of the crowd. And then, of course, the penalties came, and Cleve McCoy tried to get some, something going offensive. And this and, Gamecock defense is much improved. And you see there one of the plays that, that probably hurt as much as anything. Cleve comes up and runs the ball here in the second play before we can get anywhere, you know, we get a, a motion pin on our tackles. And I, and I gotta I gotta commend the Gamecock fans. They did a fantastic job of knowing exactly when to get their loudest when we were trying to communicate. And that really hurt us there for a while. But then Aaron Hare comes in and, and, and bangs a field goal through and I was really excited by the fact that we were able to get on the scoreboard early. That was a 37 yard field goal. That's a pretty healthy field goal from a guy who is not normally kicking the field kicking the uh, the field goes to get the Gamecocks on the board here. Carolina comes back, but your defense playing playing hard at this point. This is uh, uh, Terrace Allen making a play there on uh, on Corey Board. And, and we come out in our empty formation here, and, uh, you know, they get a little twist, and the Peppers kid makes an interception here for a touchdown. And, uh, you know, this was a real downer because at that point, we really had them stop cold on offense. When you talk, talk about that particular interception, a lot of folks feel that the, the crowd had certainly an impact on that. Dustin DuBose comes back on the return. And, Coach, we really got some good field position here uh, from Dustin DuBose. Dustin has gotten to be a pretty good kick returner. Uh, I think we've also got a pretty good operation going. You see Will Ford run the ball here. I'm going to tell you now, this guy is getting ready to be a really good player. And had about 100 yards rushing yesterday, and, you know, he's not even full speed yet. You see Aaron here getting his punt off, and I wish we could have gotten that deeper down that territory, but he hit it great, and, you know, that's about all you can ask in a situation like that. You know, he's probably, at least uh, I mentioned last night on radio, one of the most improved guys on the scene from last year to this year. He has improved tremendously. He's got some confidence now, and that experience will do that for a guy, especially as smart as he is. He's probably the smartest guy on our team, so, you know, you expect a guy like that to adjust and eventually get his stuff together. Blake Mitchell making a play after good coverage in the secondary forced out of the pocket. It's Jared Cook. Uh, LaQuinn L will be on for the tackle. Yeah, yeah, we kind of didn't get him pinned up there. He got away from us. And then they all, all of a sudden, Mike Davis gets to rumbling around on his uh, Philip Adams makes a play. But I'm going to tell you, I, I remember Mike Davis when he was in high school. Boy, is he a hard runner. They give it to him here from the fullback alignment. And, you know, he rumbles down and makes another good run. Gamecocks now somewhat of a sustained drive. South Carolina State playing tough. And, Blake Mitchell, when he got time, he was able to, to hurt us. This time, the fullback out of the backfield. Right, and uh, Tony White gets him down there, and we end up getting him stopped for a field goal, and, and Ryan Suckup makes a field goal there. And actually, this is pretty good for the Bulldogs because your defense keeps them out of the end zone. We're four minutes to go in the first quarter. The Gamecocks yet to do anything offensively. You're exactly right. I was really excited about the fact that it looks like our defense is going to have a chance to get him slowed down some. And here you see Will Ford run the football again. He, he finds a nice soft spot, and he really runs hard. Will Ford spelling him now is Jonathan Woods. He picks up about seven on this play. Again, we're forced to punt the football, and the Gamecocks get some pressure on Aaron Hare, who does a good job just to get this thing off. Yeah, and our guys kind of let their guard down a little bit. They really didn't come after this one, and sometimes that's when you, you know, have the most problems because your guys sometimes let their guard down. Blake Mitchell now going up top. Corey Boyd is just so, can do so many different things. If he's not running the ball, he's catching it coming out of the backfield. Yeah, Tony, uh, Tony White gets him down there. Mitchell back to pass once again coming out of the backfield. This is to McKinley. Marquis Hamlin had a big ball game for Kevin Yeah, for but South this Carolina was State. a fourth down play, and, and, and Marquis is a better player than that. He's got to get closer to him on that situation. Gamecocks driving it down now. This was perhaps their first sustained drive now as they get this football, football down and... Um, we don't see the touchdown yeah. there, but there was a touchdown right. there in the Gamecocks lead now 17 to 3 with 47 seconds to go here in the first quarter. And uh, we'll get another opportunity offensively, Dustin DuBose. Right, Dustin gets another real good return here, and he gets outside and gets down the sideline. And we talk about field position. If you think about the last two possessions, DuBose has put us in pretty good shape as we begin this particular series, and Will Ford with a great run. 
Yeah, Will runs through there, and they're in a bear look, and, you know, we really don't ordinarily run that play into that look, and he just kind of runs by people, so you can always depend on him to be, you know, in pretty good shape. You go into the second quarter, Cleve trying to get outside, Cliff yeah. Matthews racks him up, we don't get anything. Yeah, we don't block the end, and he gets off and makes the play on Cleve. Tommy Beecher comes in for the Gamecocks, and uh, Beecher uh, feeling confident early on, but this defense is up to the task. Yeah, he makes a great throw there, but, you know, we end up getting the ball back here. Uh, Cedric Lloyd gets in there on him, and uh, and uh, uh, Keon Brooks makes the fumble recovery. They reviewed this, and it was clearly a fumble on the part of Blake Mitchell, and the Bulldogs now get to Spencer Miller. This is a pretty good play with Miller. <laughs> Spencer makes a good play here, but I think they hit him so hard that they knocked his contacts out. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan Woods on the carry for the Bulldogs. And South Carolina State, as you'll see, moving the football here in the second half. Feel a little more confidence, and this one thrown a little too high. Oh. Makes Boy, a play on the ball. This hurt a bunch because we we got him set in great shape there for a little underneath screen and and we got everybody down on the ground over there and throws a little bit high. Travance Jackson on the tackle. This is a fourth down play. Coach Buddy if you challenge this play and coach, you can say clearly Beecher didn't get anywhere near that marker. I didn't think he got there, but you know, I also was not quite sure whether I could challenge that particular situation or not, but we finally did get a challenge and we were able to win the challenge. Bulldogs stopped him on fourth down. We get the football back. Malcolm Long comes in, somehow completes this to Dustin DuBose. Told Malcolm that he was gonna get a series in here for this game, and you know, he did get in for a series and completed one pass. Board bouncing it outside, Phil Adams, Marquis Hamlin on the tackle. Yeah, they're getting the, the football down the field, but we're going we to give them stop here in a little bit. Beach, a little play action here in South Carolina State's defense. You can't take it for granted. Another big pick for the Bulldogs. Another play by Phillip Adams, and Phillip is starting to, you know, really have some confidence, and I think you'll see him have a good season from here. From You're in trouble, Coach. Just give it to 28, and he'll make it happen. Most times, if you give it to him, he'll find some positive yardage for you. This is a two, a tie, uh, two tight end alignment, and again, this time it's Jonathan Woods. As the Gamecocks now uh, trying to pin South Carolina State back, we eventually have to punt the football, and Carolina comes back here before the end of the first half. Right. Tony White and, uh, and Bailey Branson make a play here on their tight end. And, of course, the Gamecocks now getting deep into South Carolina's territory. They go to the up back in the defense. Tony White once again. Tony makes a nice play here, but I'm going to tell you what Mike Davis does to punish in there. Mike Davis, a very strong run out of Columbia, and here comes the pressure from the defense, and Keon Brooks comes up with a big recovery. Yeah, Ryan Potts rushes the passer here on a little twist that's done, and he gets in there and avoids the back and, and hits the quarterback, and he fumbles. Bulldogs get some yardage here on Trey Young, making a catch of about seven yards, and uh, Cleve McCoy, the quarterback keeper, and he was effective when he was able to get his sh this shoulder was, square. This was an option play from the shotgun, and... And to be perfectly honest with you, this is probably the most important series of the whole game for us because we got the football down here. We get it in here at the end of the half here. We go back to, you know, down by one score. And you see Will Ford blocking like you wouldn't believe there on one of the Branket twins. And Clee jumps over and gets the first down. It gets a little bit out of sorts here. You know, we don't block this quite right. And, 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 and Jonathan's trying to get some extra yards here. And they end up pulling the football out. And, Kind of kills our that was a tough series for South Carolina. Say, so when you think you're going to score, you end up pulling the football back. We come up with another pick at the end of the first half to uh, keep the Gamecocks out of the end zone. That's where the first half ended. Bulldogs trailing 17 3. We'll be back with more of the On the Buddy Pew Show after this time out. Our hometown. By the way, I heard.